Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto, and I wanted to show you how to use Wi-Fi and NFC on your Canon 80D. Now, Canon added Wi-Fi and NFC to their cameras, which is fantastic because that means that you can transfer photos from your camera to your phone easily. Now, it's gonna be a little bit easier to do this with a Android phone than with an iPhone, simply because the Android phones have NFC and the iPhones only have NFC for using with Apple Pay, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not a deal breaker, definitely. Typically, when you're out shooting photos, uh, you are not connected to a Wi-Fi somewhere else, and so your iPhone isn't connected to another Wi-Fi network somewhere. And what that means is that um, because it's not connected to a Wi-Fi network, when you do turn Wi-Fi on on your ADD, your iPhone will probably connect to it right away because it's not connected to something else. Um, with the Android phone, because it has NFC, you can more quickly launch, basically launch the camera, the EOS app, um, in the phone instead of having to go in and launch it manually. So slight time savings being an Android user over an iPhone user, but it's still not um, a deal breaker for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and power on our camera here. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do here is go into your menu. We're gonna go over to a setting called wireless communication settings and tap there. Now the first thing you're gonna to need to do is enable Wi-Fi and NFC. And it's interesting because even though Wi-Fi and NFC is disabled, um, I can tap my Android phone to the side of my camera here and it will open up the application even though um, it's disabled. So uh, it says cannot connect because NFC is not enabled on the camera. However, however, it does still open the application. So if I go over and enable this and it says allow NFC connections and you can actually turn that on or off. Um, I'll tap on enable. It says register a nickname to identify this camera. So I'll go ahead and I can change the name. By default, it's EOS ADD. So you might want to change that to something more unique. But if you don't, just hit the menu button to save. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now Wi Fi and NFC is enabled. Um, so Let's just see what it'll do. I have the EOS camera app installed here. You go into the Play Store and uh, download the Canon Camera Connect app, or if you're on an iPhone, go into the App Store and download Canon Camera Connect. Um, so if I'm on an Android device without having any app opened, um, let's just go ahead and uh, put our device to the side of our camera. There we go, it says connecting, please wait and it's gonna go ahead and uh, connect without you having to type in passwords or do any of that stuff. So that's kind of the power of NFC is the initial setup, and it says connect uh, to this smartphone, Nexus 5X. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Um, it says connection established, and now it's actually connected. So I didn't have to do anything really manually aside from just turn on uh, the option in the camera. So now I can tap on images on camera and I have access to all of my images and all I have to do is um, either tap on the little uh, download to camera icon below and then I can select multiple images or I can go and view my images um, and wait for them to show the full preview and then tap on the download button. I can even favorite them or I could trash the image if it's just not a good one. Basically what we just looked at, looked at inside the app is the exact same experience with the iPhone. Uh, so let's go ahead and disconnect this device. The way that we're gonna do that is just by turning off Wi-Fi so that this uh, phone doesn't try to connect to the camera. So let's bring our menu system back up here. We'll go into wireless communication. It's enabled. We need to go to wire Wi-Fi function. Um, and we're gonna need to um, disconnect real quick. If you don't see this option, if you don't see your camera's Wi-Fi showing up, you may need to go into clear settings and just clear your settings straight out because uh, you know if you've ever connected to a different phone before, you may or may not see those settings showing up. So we're gonna need to go ahead and just Enable our Wi-Fi. We'll leave NFC on, even though NFC doesn't matter for the iPhone. I'll save the name of our camera. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. We can then go into Wi-Fi function. We'll need to transfer images to connect to a smartphone, so we'll tap there. Now, basically what we're gonna need to do is manually set up our Wi-Fi connection. We didn't have to do that on the Android device because NFC 
started that process for us and connected. So you can easily connect uh, by choosing Easy Connection or you can select a network and connect to your home Wi-Fi or something like that. I'm gonna choose Easy Connection because that's gonna be what you're, you're gonna to wanna to use when you're out and about and you're not connected to a Wi-Fi. Um, and then I'm gonna hit OK. And so you can see here we have uh, the SSID, which is essentially the username of the Wi-Fi that you're gonna to connect to. So let's uh, open our iPhone back up here and go into our settings and our Wi-Fi settings. And you can see the ADD camera here. And then it shows the encryption key. The encryption key is the password that you're gonna to need to enter in order for your camera uh, to connect to your phone and vice versa. So we'll tap on join. It is now joining that network. And I can then go into my Canon camera app and you'll now see down below, it says the SSID is there and it says new camera found. So we'll tap on that. Um, it says connect to the smartphone iPhone. I'll hit OK. It's going to finish the connection. And now the camera is connected to my iPhone and I can view all of the images on my iPhone and transfer them. This is obviously the setup process. Next time around, it's going to be much easier. Just to show you, let's go ahead and go back and disable our Wi-Fi and um, my iPhone is now reconnected itself to my local network here. If I go and enable Wi-Fi on this camera and then we'll go and go into our settings. You can see uh, now that I'm not connected to the Canon anymore, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi here. All I have to do is just make sure that my Wi-Fi is enabled and wait for it to show up as a network. I tap on it. I already had entered my password, so I don't have to do that again. Uh, now I can simply go, and there's a notification that comes through. I can actually just tap on that notification and it will open up the app right away. It connects to the camera and I'm ready to go. The only thing faster than that is to use an Android phone that has NFC, but if you don't have an Android phone, it still works. <clears throat> you just might have an extra couple of steps. So definitely really cool to have Wi-Fi and NFC built into the Canon 80D. I hope that this video helped you figure out how to get connected, whether you are an iPhone or an Android user, or you use a tablet. It's the same process even if you use an iPad or an Android tablet. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this Nexus 5X, which is a pretty good Android phone that has really good NFC connectivity. You saw how quickly that process is if you were thinking about trying a different phone. The Nexus 5X is a great phone, a great phone for the price. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel here on Ditch Auto so that you get more videos like this that help you get better at using your camera and finding out some of the cool features that it has. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you next time here on Ditch Auto. Thank you.